Assalamualaikum and hi everybody. Welcome to PNC 500 Statistical Reasoning in Education. I am Dr. Ija again. I'll be teaching you in this lecture. Hope you enjoy the lecture. So basically, in this video, I'm still going to explain to all of you regarding descriptive statistics, summarize the data and display the data. So for this week or for this, this video, what I'm going to explain to all of you is that I'm going to explain to you on how we can create a data file and how to enter data into SPSS. And secondly, how we can screen and clean data in SPSS. So these are the two most important things that you should do before you run an analysis using SPSS. So first, let us look at how you can create a data file and entering data in the SPSS. Right, this is the example of the SPSS file once you open the software. You can see that uh, a window showing the data view as well as the variable view. So this, this view, in this view, you can see there are data view as well as the variable view. So, let us first look at what is data view. So in data view window, each of the column is labeled as VAR in capital letter. So VAR is ref referring to variable. It will be replaced with the variables name that you listed in your code book. So whatever you, you wrote on the variable part is depend on the codes that you have decided for your research. So number one, two, three indicate the case numbers. So let us look back. Okay, here we have name, type with decimal label values under the variable view. And we have variable one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and so forth, so on and so forth. So that is under variable view. But in data view, there is a place or a view where you will key in all the data that you have gathered from your sample. So how do we define the variables? So before you enter your data, you need to tell IBM SPSS about your variables name and coding instructions. So you will do this in the data editor window, which consists of data view as well as variable view. Just like what I showed you earlier, in this window, you can see a data view as well as variable view after you open the SPSS software. So variable view, yeah, the variable view are listed down the side, characteristic listed along the top, and your job is to define each of your variable. So this is the view of variable view. You can see that this is the characteristic of your variable, the name, yeah, type with decimal, and this would be the list of the variables. Right, let's look at the first characteristic, yeah? Characteristic that listed along the top of the variable view. The first one is name. So what is name? It is type, yeah? Type in the brief variable name used to identify each of the variable in the data file. You need to keep short, not exceeding 64 characters. It is unique. Start with letter, no spaces or even symbol. So that is what you type in the name area. Yeah, very brief variable name used to identify each of your variable in the data file. Secondly, we have type. So by default, SPSS has set uh, type as numeric. So this type is referring to your data type. It can be numeric, it can be uh, nominal, it can be, sorry, it can be numeric, it can be string. Yeah, so if it's in number, you need to make sure it is in numeric and if it is in the text, it is in a string form. And then we have width. Width by default, SPSS has set the width of the box as 8 and the decimal by default also SPSS has set 2 decimal place. So please bear in mind that we always make sure that the decimal place for the output is always two decimal places. As for the label, label is a column allow you to provide a longer description for your variable 
then use in name color. So we have one in name that you type uh, in the brief variable name used to identify each variable. But let's say you want to explain more or describe more about your name, you can type it in label. Yeah. So uh, it's a column allow you to provide a longer description for your variable. After that, we have values. So these values is used to define the meaning of the values you have used to code your variables. So click values for the variable you wish to specify. For example, let's say your variable is gender. So you can define gender as value number one for male and value number two for female. Other example, let's say you have a variable of um, teaching experience. So you can lay, you can uh, you can define the value for number one is teaching experience between one to five years. Number two can be defined as teaching experience between six to ten years. Number three, fifteen to uh, sorry, eleven to fifteen years, so on and so forth. It depends on how you define the meaning of the value that you have to code your variable. After value, we have missing. So what is missing? It is used to indicate missing value for the data. This is not essential for you to key in. Yeah, only if you have a missing data, only you key in this part. And then we have column. Column, uh, IBM SPSS has set, set by default 8. And then we have align. By default, it has been set right alignment. You can change it into left alignment as well as center. And then we have measure. Measure is refers to the level of measurement of each of your variables. By default, SPSS has set scale measurement. So what is scale? It's continuous data measured at interval or ratio level. Nominal is for categorical data and ordinal is for ranking or ordered value. So this is a scale of measurement. We have nominal, which is categorized item. Ordinal, a scale that categorizes and rank order item. Interval, a scale that categorizes and rank order item and has equal interval. And ratio scale, a scale that categorizes and rank order item which has equal interval and a zero that means the absence or none of the thing being measured. So now I'm going to explain to you how you can import data from Microsoft Excel. Let's say after you have distribute your data, you have collected it, and then you have key in into a Microsoft Excel. So don't worry, you can import all the data from Microsoft Excel into SPSS. So what you need to do is first, you need to open your Excel file in SPSS, and then you need to click file on top of the menu bar of SPSS, and then choose import data from the SPSS menu, Select type of file you want to open. Let's say, for example, here you're going to choose Excel file. And then select the file name from your document or from your desktop of your computer and select open. Don't forget to click read variable name if the first row of the spreadsheet contain column heading. And then after that, you just click OK. Right, now I'm going to show you or I'm going to explain to you how you can do screening and clean the data. So step one, you need to check for errors. So let's say you have key in all the data or you have import all the data from Excel into SPSS, you need to check for errors. So what will be the purpose of checking for errors? To find values that fall outside the range of possible values for a variable. For example, Number one is male, number two is for female. There shouldn't other than this. So check the errors. You know, sometimes we are human, we tend to do mistakes. We label number one for male and number two for female. But there is a possibility during the process of key in the data, you key in wrongly. Maybe you put number three or maybe 11 or maybe 22 because, um, you know, key in data is not, um, an easy process for us to do. So sometimes we may do errors. So you need to check for errors first. 
So this is a procedure for checking categorical variable uh, according to Julie Pellin. So from the main menu at the top of the screen, click on Analyze, then click on Descriptive Statistic, then Frequency. So how to do or how to get Descriptive Statistic, um, I be, I've told you earlier in our lecture before. So choose the variable that you wish to check, for example, sex or gender, marital, education, so on and so forth. To assist in finding the variable you want, you can right click on the list of variable and select sort alphabetically. So you can sort from A to Z or to show variable names or variable label. So click on the arrow button to move this into the variable box. Okay, the variable that you wish to um, check and then click on the statistic button. Tick minimum, maximum yeah, and maximum in the dispersion section. Click on continue and then OK. Or you can go on paste to save to syntax editor. So let's look at this example from Julie Pallon. Let's say for gender, should be number one. Yeah, the uh, value that we label one is for male and two is for female. But when we we done the descriptive statistic, the output show that minimum is one. One is for male. But suddenly there is maximum three, which we have wrongly key in. So we can identify that there is an error while we key in the data into the SPSS. So this error needs to be rectified before we run the ana analysis after this. So uh, beside that, yeah, so let's look at the frequency for sex, male 185, female 253, but suddenly the value of 3, we keep in 1. So we need to delete this value. Alright. So how do we do that? Yeah, we move on to step 2. Finding and collecting the error in data file. So what you need to do in finding and correcting the error is that find the error in the data file. How to do that? Click data on the menu bar and choose sort cases. Click on the variable that you know has an error. In this case, we have identified gender as an error where we wrongly key in value of 3. So we click on gender and then on the arrow, yeah, and then on the arrow to move it into sort by. Yeah, so we need to sort by. Okay, so click either ascending or descending. So you can either sort from small number to large number or from large number to small number and then you click OK. So automatically what IBM SPSS will do is that it will sort the cases. For in this case, gender, it will sort from number 1 into number 3. So you can see from the uh, cases that have been sorted, the number 3 uh, shown here yeah, by SPSS. So from there, it either you can delete the data or you can look at the respondent ID or the sample ID, check with the hard copy of the um, the hard copy of the instrument, and identify the correct gender for the uh, that particular uh, respondent. Okay, it's either you check back from the uh, hard copy of the instrument, or you can automatically delete the respondent. So I hope that you can do. Um, error checking before you run with your analysis after this right so thank you very much for watching my video i hope that you enjoy learning spss bye bye and take care all